Anderson Silva, you are one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time, if not the greatest, yet you have only been in that boxing ring professionally two times prior to this upcoming Saturday. You're one and one in boxing, lost in 1998 via stoppage, one in 2005 via stoppage, but you're 46 years old and Julio Cesar Chavez is a big step up in competition. Some think you may get stopped again. What would you say to those that think that? Well, I say the same. I say for everybody in my fans too. Enjoy the show. You know, I'm so happy to be here. I'm working hard. I think the age and it's something to don't put in your mind because I continue training with my partners. I continue training uh, MMA with my, my, my team in the same level, you know? And right now I just try to enjoy, you know? I don't I need to prove nothing for anybody. You have said many times that you're simply doing this because you love fighting. Instead of retiring altogether from it, you wanna keep doing it because it's what you know, it's what you do well, and you also like to challenge yourself. I wonder stylistically, what have you found most challenging about boxing? Well, boxing is a very traditional sport, is an old sport too. And when I take this challenge for my mind, for my team, I, the first uh, uh, moment I just, you know what, I think this is, I can do this, but uh, I need you to talk to my coach. And I talked to coach Nico, coach Doria, uh, coach Sergio and the whole team and the other people too uh, with, uh, uh, about respect the boxing, you know, and I respect a lot. And that's I come to doing something in this sport for showing my respect, you know, and uh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm very uh, impressed how much I learned in these six months. And uh, Saturday, I go do my best. I would think that the stance simply would be difficult to adjust to from being so squared up to moving to that angular side stance in boxing? Well, boxing is very interesting because it's the, the mathematical control inside the ring is different for MMA, but I'm training hard with my coach and uh, I learn a lot and I go using the my skills and my uh, whole uh, experience in fight, you know, because when you, when you go inside, you have the first contact, everything's changed, you know. I remember after you defeated Diaz at UFC 183 and you became the winningest champion in UFC middleweight history. At the press conference, you said that your son said, dad, congratulations, but done. Back home, please no more fights. You obviously continued fighting and you're fighting now, but how'd you go about explaining this one to your son? I'm going to fight Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a boxing match. Listen, I, after the fight, I just talked to my family. I back to home and talked to my family and say, you know, I can hold your dreams. I working hard for make your dreams and your job in your personal life successful. Right now, I need you to do this for myself because it's not about successful, it's not about money. It's because this is my air, this is my heart. I love fight. And when God continue give me salute and power for continue to do this, I continue to do. And that's I talked to my family, I talked to my wife, I talked to my kids. And uh, Gabriel gave him the whole support because Gabriel's fight too. Khalil sometimes come training, Juan sometimes too. But Gabriel gave him the whole support and helped me a lot, you know. And uh, the, the, my new team right now, the boxing team, is uh, very special people. And uh, Coach Nico helped me to change everything in my mind about the, 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 the questions I have in my mind, why I do this, why I, I, 
you know, and Coach Nico helped me a lot, Coach Doria, Coach Sergio, and my sparring partners too, Eliezer and uh, Little Nico is an amazing boxing guy, he's a new talent and helped me a lot, my son Gabriel, you know, Fred Roach helped me a lot, he's my friend for many, many years, and I'm so happy, you know, I try to, to do something uh, more about fight, you know, I try to use it, this moment in my life, to pass something special for the people. Doesn't matter what happened, how old are you? You have a dream, just do it. Do it, do your best, you know, in your personal life, your professional life, doesn't matter you fight or not, do your best. So your sons who at one time wanted you to stop fighting have actually helped remove some of the doubt that you had along with your trainers. Yeah, Gabriel helped me a lot and uh, say, okay, that that's you like to do, just do it. You know, I I go support you, my family. Say, just do it. Do your do your best you can when you have a time. Do it, do it. You know, because the life is too short. And stay happy because you give everything for us. Now just try to enjoy. That's a little. I'm sorry. I would only say that. Do you worry though about the health of your brain after so many years of fighting? Wow, my brain is very healthy. You know, <laughs> I I'm I'm, I'm go to doctor uh, every single month, and um, you know I'm healthy. Bad time here because uh, the promoters and the commission here check it out everything, check it out me and my opponents, check it out the whole fighters here. And that's the, the, it's not the problem, you know, I continue to do my job and I'm healthy, you know, that's uncontinued here. Good. Uh, do you feel that you have to represent the honor of MMA in this fight, especially after someone like Ben Askren lost to Jake Paul? Well, the people ask me this the last night in the, the old interview, and I say, no, I'm not represent the MMA, uh, 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 community. I represent my team, my family, my country, my both country, and United States and Brazil, and represent the the myself. And the more important for me is just go inside the ring, enjoy the moment, and pass the message. Good message. That we can all pursue our dreams and don't listen to the haters. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> okay. And lastly, how does the great Anderson Silva go about beating Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in a boxing match in Guadalajara? Wow. You say you follow me for many, many years, you know, my career. You never go to I talking about the fight. Fight is fight. And I go enjoy the fight. You know, I don't know who's win, but I train hard for win. My opponent train hard for win. Let's go see Saturday. The legendary Anderson Silva, thank you so much for the time. You're welcome. Thank you.